And Nicholas Demore, uh, welcome to the stage, uh, Senior Manager of Business and Innovation Development at Sierra Wireless. Welcome. Hi. Thanks for being here. So, of course, a lot happening on the floor here at Mobile World Congress, uh, 5G, IoT, NFE, but it's really about the data, gathering that data, and knowing what to do with that data. Isn't that the case? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, all of this connectivity is really about um, shuffling data around that makes sense for human beings. I mean, when you talk about Internet of Things, in reality, you really talk about things that generate data for people. So it's really about the internet of people, data that makes sense for people. Now of course, we're hearing about 1M to M, sort of a collaborative effort in the standards area for IoT and all the technologies surrounding that. Um, what's, the, um, what's the premise behind 1M to M? Well, the, the basic idea behind 1M to M is that if you're going to gather data about, about people, about places, about objects, it really there's not going to be any one unique stakeholder or company that's going to hold all of the data as it's relevant to a particular person or a particular organization. So what you really need, you need to be able to exchange the data, and so you need standards to do, to do that in a transparent and secure way. And that's where 1M2M comes in play, because 1M2M is a partnership project between um, eight major uh, regional standards organizations, um, TIA in America, uh, ATIS, uh, ETSI, ARI, TTC, TTA and um, TSDSI as well, and CCS in China. So all of these organizations are working together to elaborate the true global standards for an M2M platform. So that's really what it's about. So give me an example of, a, let's say, an IoT platform or two platforms that need to interoperate together. Yeah, so for example, let's say uh, I'm buying uh, some kind of temperature sensor, and that, that happens to, uh, to go onto, um, well, let's talk, uh, a Nest, for example, a, a Nest um, s temperature sensor that would probably send the data to some cloud platform. And then if you want to relate that uh, temperature information with, with a Molson sensor, for example, that may be sold by another company that would go to another platform, then these two platforms need to exchange the data so that the consumer, regardless of whether they connect to the one or the other, can have a unified view of the data that's relevant for them. So you do demonstrations of these IoT platforms interoperating at, at events like this. There's also an event coming up in June, uh, TIA 2016, Network of the Future. I know you were at the last event, and yeah. how did that go? Yeah, definitely. So it's not only about standards organizations, but companies, research institutes. We work together. We were, Sierra Wireless, a company I work for, we were at the last edition of the TIA Network of the Futures. It was great. We could actually do some, what we call interoperability testing with other platforms from other companies other uh, software, but the standards are, uh, are there, the protocols are the same, so we can exchange and test during these events that really it's, it's all working well together. So that's all about it. Tell us more about Sierra Wireless and its, and its place in the industry, let's say in IoT specifically. Yeah, so, so Sierra Wireless is, is a specialist for IoT communications. And we're usually very well known for providing cellular chips uh, to car manufacturers, uh, to payment terminal manufacturers, and, and the whole industry of the Internet of Things. But what we do is much more than that. Uh, we do sell the chips, but we also have uh, an offer uh, for connectivity. So we do sell SIM cards and connectivity in a very intelligent way so that, again, you don't have to depend on a single network operator. You could go to another network operator if you want. And we also have uh, uh, an IoT platform what we call the IoT acceleration platform, and that's where the 1 m 2 m standards come into play. We're very committed to standards, and everything we do, we do it in a very integrated way so that our customers can have everything from us if they want, but every single part interoperates with the rest using standards. So if they, if they want to use another module vendor or another platform, that's just fine. And, and that's where standards are so important, to leave freedom of choice to the consumers. And where is the, uh, when and where is the next 1M to M event? So the next 1M to M event is actually next month. It's going to be in Europe. So, uh, so 1M to M being truly global rotates uh, every time. So, so we rotate between all of the continents. Uh, we meet every two months, a full week. It's a lot of work uh, since 2012 already. And uh, so we published the first release of our uh, standards uh, already last year. And we're going to publish the release too, probably around summer this year. So, so we're very excited because in this release too, what we're going to be uh, providing is not only the ability to shuffle data around, but also to integrate what we call a semantic framework that allows the application and the users to make sense out of that data. And that's really where the value is, because data without semantics is just bytes and meaningless. And now with that release too, we're going to be able to provide 
uh, well, sent to the data and, and so that the users can have actual, uh, a true usage and value out of the data. Everyone's talking about monetization of the big data. Uh, we're not going to do it ourselves, but we're going to give the tools to the users to actually do that monetization. I know TIA is uh, very excited about the growth of 1M2M, and we hope you can make it the TIA 2016 Network of the Future. Of course, that's June 6th through 9th uh, in just a few months. Yeah, well, perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks, Nicholas. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.